in the previous video we have created some models for our application that is blog application and we haven't done migration yet so in this video we, we will actually create a super user and then we will uh, run our development web server and after that we will do some migration for our blog application and we will register our this blog application in the Django administration so let's get started okay to do that uh, first of all we need to be in our root of our project application uh, as you can see here uh, we need to go to this my site directory and then uh, to run the web server we can simply run the command run server okay we have got some errors that uh, in line number 40 uh, models many to many uh, doesn't exist that means we have got some attribute error so let us fix line number 40 of models.py file line number 40 that is many capital T to many field and many to many field so let us again run our server as you can see uh, we can successfully run our server and we have got some message you have on applied migration you your app may not work properly until they are applied so uh, let us uh, before uh, do some migration let us do initial migration let us do initial migrate for our application that is for our project Okay, this command uh, create the tables uh, for the default applications which uh, come with Django. So let us create a migration for our blog application. Uh, to create the migration, we need to register our blog application in our settings.py file. So we need to install our blog. As you can see here, you need to install blog in the install app of your settings.py file and then you need to make migration so the make migration command uh, check the changes in your models.py file make migrations blog sorry make manage.py make migrations blog okay uh, this will create a table for author category post tag okay let us run our server and check our admin manager.py run server okay you have on upright migration your app may not be work properly so we need to apply this migration using this migrate command this will make a data make a tables in our database so let us again run our server okay let us visit to this url uh, to go to the admin panel just we need to append admin uh, what is the username that we haven't created a user so uh, we cannot enter admin admin so we need to create a user for our Django admin to create the user we have another command manage.py create super user this is the admin user for our website that is for our blog just uh, and let us create admin email will be admin android example.com you can enter your real email here but uh, to show you i am just entering an a dummy email uh, enter your password uh, it says that super uh, user created successfully okay let us log in to our django admin panel using this username and password admin so i am going to enter my password Okay, it said the error connection refused because we haven't run our development 
server to run development server just use this command dot manage dot py run server then you can copy this link because our server is listening on port 8000 under the local host that is 127.0.0.1 okay to visit the admin panel just append admin and enter your username and password okay these are the applications this is the applications that we have in our website but where is our blog applications uh, the blog application hasn't appeared here so to register our blog ap application in the Django admin we need to do some little work so this is uh, our blog application project so we need to register our models file to the admin.py file of this blog so this is the admin.py file we need to import all of these uh, classes to this admin.py file so let us import from dot models import post and another one is models.py post author category and tag post author category and tag so to register we have a core admin dot site dot register that is post so this uh, code will actually register your blog uh, post uh, class to your admin panel of your website so let us visit as you can see here we have a blog applications which have post section uh, this is actually the post which is append by the Django so uh, we can add post here to add post let us write some hello world from my blog this is the default okay this is the post post from my Django blog okay we haven't created an author because uh, author is not registered so we need to again register author let us register tag tag again we need to register category also so <laughs> let us refresh it again so as you can see here we have got plus sign because uh, for the foreign key django provides the drop down widget and for the many to many field django provide these types of field uh, multiple selection boxes that is also box box so uh, hello world from my blog this is the first post from my blog okay let us add author so david let us put david lopez and david at the red gmail mm, this is uh, david is one of the most known what is the spelling of renowned i don't know <laughs> david is one of the most re v and o w n e d renowned author of this Django blog <laughs> let us save this okay okay let us add categories uh, okay here we have got some word name so we can fix this uh, from our models class uh, we will uh, look this into the next video so category name will be blogging blogging um, about people blogs let us save this okay tags we can have more than one tags so test okay <laughs> blogging blogging mm, about blogging save okay let us add another tag category name will be programming 
about programming save uh, let us uh, tag about Django about Django Django is the web framework framework DJN Geo Django is the web framework but as you know we cannot add more than one author we cannot choose more than one author for our uh, post because according to our database design uh, our post can have only one author so and let us try to add more than one author and this will be our name Andrew Andrew NDREW Andrew gmail.com he is a programmer let us save this uh, we uh, so this uh, post can have either uh, David Lopez as an author or uh, Andrew as an author we cannot have more than one author but in case of categories and tag we can select more than one more than one uh, categories because according to our database design the post can have more than one categories and tags and also tag and categories can have more than one post but in the case of author a post can have only one author so we can save this save okay this is the Django admin so in the next video we will try to fix the name of the name of uh, the tag description and we also want to fix uh, the cat name to categories name and cat description to categories descriptions and I also want to show you after registering uh, the tag categories and author we have extra fields so we can directly add categories post and tag so we also want to fix this categories which is misspelled here so I will show you in the next video thank you for watching thank you